but it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Did the architects build this? Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. If Kokolia threatens us by taking Vranya hostage... We have to save her. The Underworld... No. No. Do not resist, Branya. No! Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffer. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To... It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you! Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish! We're not going down before you do. Ranya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One. These guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. See you. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Right. I want to witness your choice. I've told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Celeron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Celeron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew. Refused to hear. I was as you are now. Bitterly defending the Architects so my conviction was once steadfast. Unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation... This was... I have agonized, long agonized over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness, Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. Choose. <clears throat> Madame Kokoya, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice, but I... I am sorry mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? 
I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Eve not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city... Of Bellabog is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world. You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you. Rise, engine of creation!
tormented by them! Listen to the power surge! Sing! The Stellaron's promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Stay alert. <laughs> The Stellaron changes everything. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair! Is this... the universe? But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison law. Why do you hesitate, Kakalia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cave. Madam Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Mother, I still don't understand. The fragmentum. The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Ah, a believer, I see. The Fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors to see the home we vow to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. You... You are but a stranger to us. And yet, you seek to bond your destiny to ours. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the Amber, Trailblazer. See if your will can attract their gaze.
can't be. The will of preservation has made its choice. Nothing of the flight of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. Even if we are doomed to destruction, we will go bravely. Walking hand in hand into the darkness. No! That is what comes to pass while we're around. A brave new world! Stay alert! Don't mess with me! Time for sword play! Strike with heart! <laughs> I'm on guard. How many can you block? Blade and swipe. Time for a shot. Nap time. Tough trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Nice! Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. I'm... There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this.
Can I really do tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a no. No. Tila, I... I don't know how to explain it in the underworld. We tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Velaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical. And... Hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes, madness, evil, dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, Let's start rebuilding the bridge between the Overworld and the Underworld. Zila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative district, I need to tell Jepard and... Serve, huh? Are you okay? What's wrong, Bronnie? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. She's exhausted! Quick! Right. Let's settle then. I'll leave. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Uh... You drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. Let's focus on the business at hand first. Mm, you're right. 